restaurant model in Excel. It is very important to, at some point, transfer you know, your ideas about your concept into Excel and to see whether it actually makes economical sense or under what condition it would make sense. Uh, therefore, we're going to be talking about this subject here, so how to translate it into Excel. So when you want to set up a restaurant, you have not only to face the monthly recurring costs uh, for food, especially labor and rent, but also invest a huge amount of money into the place. So this renovation is also furniture, etc. Uh, roughly, this is what you will be facing in terms of the categories. So equipment design in the beginning, also buying furniture, which have to be remodeled every four or five years. Computer cache, uh, till system posts, all sort of uh, domestic appliances and other stuff like uh, uniforms for the employees and either purchase of the place or rent of the place when we are talking about uh, monthly recurring expenses. When it comes to month other monthly recurring costs, you obviously have the, all the uh, third party services like bookkeeping, the spendings on the stock, utilities, food and drinks, obviously cleaning costs, personal, etc. On top of that, you also have to invest a lot of cash into the stock. So it's from one week to two months, depending on the type of a concept you're using and how you do it. We're going to be here just showing the, the profit and loss account or how you estimate the profit uh, of the business will not be going that much into detail when it comes to uh, the frozen cash before we go to the excel uh, just a quick warm-up in terms of the model and we're going to be talking about three uh, models so in the basic one this is what we're going to have so let's uh, start with a simple model so we start with restaurants where we just look at the number of meals we will be producing per day and uh, the number of days so monthly will be 30 days by the number of meals assumed for day then out of this we get number of transaction when we assume some sort of um, average transaction value we are able to get the revenues of our small restaurant and then we should assume some sort of a gross margin, which will help us generate uh, the total gross margin. So how much we earned after the, the cost of food. So the revenues minus the cost of food gives us the gross margin. And then we have a bunch of uh, other costs, like cost of marketing, franchising fees, other variable costs. And we get the, the so-called net margin. And then at the end, we deduct the so-called fixed costs. So in our case, it could be the rent, the labor, and obviously uh, the headquarters, if we have them allocated somehow. And this should get us the operating profit of the business. Or if you stop it before the depreciation or amortization, it will give you a bid down. Now let's go to Excel and I will show you how to calculate it in, in there as well. So this is the, our model in Excel. In this case, we're going to be just assuming that we have one restaurant and we're going to try to estimate how much we're going to earn from it. A quick warning, we use the colors to uh, tell us some things. So basically, if you have white, then we have a formula. So if it's here white, then it means that there is a formula. So something is automatically being calculated. And then for assumptions, we use two colors. So for unknown assumptions, we use the, the blue one. And for known uh, assumptions, like the number of days per month, we can be using the yellow one. So as I check assumptions, I should also change the color. Here obviously means that uh, I have assumed some average ticket in month number one, and which is then fed into other cells here, as you can see. The other thing which is uh, worth uh, mentioning is that uh, we have this pyramid principle. So whenever there is something being calculated, then the, the variables in, impacting it are usually just below it. So if we want to look at the meals sold, then they depend or they are calculated using the meals sold per day and number of days. So they are found here. The structure of the Excel is a little bit different than I show you in the PowerPoint, just to make it a little bit simple. So we start with the revenues. As I said, uh, we calculate them using the meals sold, which are actually depending on meals sold per day and sales day. As you can see here, this is basically the 100 we assume per day multiplied by 30 days. For time being, we assume that you've got the same number of days all over. And then to get the revenues, as we said, we have to assume some sort of average ticket, average uh, value of the transaction. So we assume here 15. And then out of this, we get an in 1045k of revenues per month. Now, as we said, we can either look at the gross margin or the food cost for simplicity. I've chosen the food cost. So we sold the average meal for 15 and actually the, the cost per unit is six. So here we actually calculate how much, it, what was the cost of the food. Uh, we get the unit sold from here. So we don't repeat it uh, manually. It's enough for me to press this 100 and then it's recalculated to 300. So if I change it to 200, this is what I should 
get yeah this is recalculated in both places here and here so we go back to the 100 so we get the food cost which is 18 and uh, then we calculate the gross margin the gross margin is calculated as a difference between the average ticket which we had put here and which is fed into this uh, cell and then also the cost per unit which was fed here and is taken here so we get nine per unit which gives us the 27 of uh, 27k per month and this is our the gross margin so the revenue minus the foot cost give us the gross margin and then we didn't divide it into fixed and variable cost we just put all the operational costs below and what we can find here is the royalties so if it is something you take as a franchising you would have to pay here a percentage of the value then also rent and labor marketing activities and others we can go to a different uh, level of details so if i press the one here i'm actually seeing uh, aggregated data so here all of a sudden this disappeared so i just see them uh, meals sold and average tickets of vet and same goes for here so i don't actually see how this is generated i just see the the values and if i go in more details so i press this or the two here above i get the details so for example royalties are calculated as a percentage of uh, revenues and here it's zero because this is for the time being just on a restaurant the rent is calculated as a number of square meters i have and uh, some sort of a uh, price per square meters i've got and then actually it should be the other one sorry guys so let's say it should be 100 the, the size and then this is say 20. so the rent is basically calculation of rent per square meter and also the size and then what happens is i calculate the labor so labor we calculate basically by assuming number of fte's and some sort of a cost of fte by fte we mean a full-time equivalent so it's basically somebody who gives me 170 hours per month. It doesn't matter whether it's my somebody who I employ or is it a contractor. I basically should calculate uh, all of them in one uh, bucket. And then obviously marketing activities and other costs which are here divided in some categories. And, and at the end, we've got the remaining of others, which is a 2% assumed on revenues. And this is how we get the the operational costs when we take away from the gross margin operational cost we got the beta which is here there it is 27 minus 5 gives us the 20 to a beta store level if it's uh let's say a new one in the beginning you have to assume also the building cost or the establishment so here is the investment needed and then i have the cash flow here so this is how much cash i'm making from this restaurant so the first month let's say I'm, I'm, I'm minus because i have to spend roughly almost 200 case and then i'm uh, making some money here as well here obviously the, the margin is very very big which is not realistic because i just put some numbers here but uh if it's above seven percent then it probably makes sense to invest it if would if it would be let's say around zero then it obviously doesn't make sense 1520 is something which is really good and it's not that easy to achieve the best i think in terms of uh, on the store level would be making 30 percent but this requires uh, actually either very good locations or like a very good scale so this would be in short the most simple model of a of a restaurant i can play with it so i can for example increase or decrease the average ticket here or i can you know decrease the number of uh, of the uh, sold meals per day and this will be recalculated automatic so i changed the two things as you can see the the, the beta store level went uh, down the good thing about this model is actually that you can with not that many assumptions really see how it's impacting in a minute i'm going to show you more complicated models but please start playing with this one for beginning because there are like just a few parameters that impact the whole model the next one there will be much more so it will be more difficult to manage it as the first model so have a look at this and if you have any questions, ask me. I'll be more than happy to answer and uh, explain you the details you haven't understood.